on in there. Here we are, right outside the trailer in West Gardner, Maine, on day three of Tales from West Gardner. You might notice I'm sitting in the snow out here. We had an unexpected snowstorm here. Well, the reason I'm here is because before this all started, Mother and I invested in a ton of bird seed hats. The very tasty part of the bird seed because we want our birds to be happy singing all day long. Well, it turns out they love them hats, but so do squirrels. So here I am, sitting beneath my bird feeder, quietly as a normal rule, with my coffee and my extra bird seed, guarding it against squirrel invasions. By the way, I'm thinking of you, George Smith. Just want you to know I'm trying to take care of Mother Nature. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Mother Nature and the call of nature, Mert Hickey a few years ago, a good friend of mine, built himself a three-story, one-hole privy. Now think of that for a minute. That right there is uh, adventure lurking. That lower hole was for them that were seeking adventure. Yeah. Well, anyway, Mert got that thing built. It was so attractive, it drew a wicked crowd. People came from all over to have their pictures taken with their family, right in front of Mert's three-story, one whole privy. Well, after a few weeks of that, the town fathers in West Gardner got disappointed, all the crowds. We like it out here pretty quiet, just like it is right now, as we're isolated, me and mother. Anyway, they come and told Mert he'd have to take it down. Mert said, well, I've done a lot of work to build it. I'm not going to tear it down by hand. I'll figure something out. Well, back in them days, you could buy dynamite at the local hardware store. He went down, got four or five sticks of dynamite, taped them all together, hooked a wire to them, dug that wire away from that privy after he threw them sticks of dynamite down that lower hole, dug the wire all the way across the lawn over behind an oak tree. Well, he hooked it to a plunger, getting ready to set her off, and just then, without much knowledge, his buddy Danny slipped in that privy for one more effort. <laughs> I guess just as he was settling into position, Mert come down on that plunger, and that privy was destroyed, nothing but splinters, and Danny come whistling across that field, slammed it, that oak tree, and settled the base of it. Oh, Mert run around, he was so upset, Danny, Danny, you okay? Did you survive it? He slapped him two or three times, finally brought him around. Danny looked right at Mert, and he said, Mert, I'm sure glad I didn't try to squeeze that one out in the kitchen. <laughs> Bet you don't get it in some cases. Yeah.